Let me know when you start. Yeah. So this is a manipulation for the OA joint, which is the occipital lantern joint. And if you think about the occiput, it comes under onto the first cervical vertebra, which is the acnus. Then you can almost assess it by gliding laterally, even though it's almost like a side bending movement. And you can see if it's sort of like wants a side shift over to one side, even though it might not tell you whether it's this lateral mass here that's going to fixate inside or the opposite side. We can rotate and we can mobilize the left joint here by cradling the ear either side and almost like mobilizing. So I'm trying to roll the left side in particular. So I'm gapping the left even though the right side is compressing. And I can do the same here. So this is more of an assessment into a treatment. So from there I can rotate halfway and then from there the pressure is coming down. So I'm almost gapping the right and mobilizing the left. If I wanted to perform a HVT, a high velocity thrust on the right side, say, then you can use the phenar and hyperphenar eminence. And I can come, my fingers come under the left occipital and I rotate him. And then my contact, there's the where the sternocleidal muscle onto the temporal bone. I'm going to come under the occiput. I'm going to come under and I'm cradling it. So I'm going to come right under the occiput. And then from there, a little bit of side bend just to slacken the tissues. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of a lock from there. And then the thrust is directly cephalid through the axis. So I'm going to come under, right under the occiput. And then the thrust is literally lock, thrust that way. But this time, no click really. Yeah, because yeah, last time we had a. Freedom the other day. Yeah, quite. That's a shame because I bought that out at the